A state committee on addiction and safety outlined legislation today expanding treatment and deterring drug use in public. Blake Mayfield looks at the proposals. A certain amount, but below us. Democratic lawmakers unveiled a new bill that would undo a key part of Measure 110, Oregon's first in the nation drug decriminalization law. The Joint Committee on Addiction and Community Safety was formed last year after sharp criticism of the rollout and impact of the measure. Its decriminalization of small amounts of drugs amid a surge of fatal overdoses were the main focus. Regarding uh, possession of drugs, we are going to make possession of a small amount of drugs like fentanyl and methamphetamine a Class C misdemeanor with the requirement that law enforcement offer a behavioral health door first to those folks. Changes to the measure would involve possession of a personal amount of illegal drugs becoming a misdemeanor C, punishable by up to 30 days in jail or a $1,250 fine. As of now, possession of under a gram of fentanyl or heroin, for example, is subject to a ticket and a maximum fine of $100. A citation can be dismissed by calling a 24-hour hotline to complete an addiction screening within 45 days. But those who don't do a screening are not penalized for failing to pay the fine. Senator Tim Canope of Bend doesn't think the proposal is strict enough. I think there needs to be uh, an ability for let's just say the protection of those that are in that facility um, and some, let's say, discretion uh, for the, let's call it the landlord as such, to be able to um, keep those people safe and make a determination on that. The Coalition to Fix and Improve Ballot Measure 110 told News Channel 21 in the statement, anything short of reclassifying deadly drugs as a Class A misdemeanor crime will be inadequate to effectively steer more people into treatment more quickly. In addition, the American Civil Liberties Union of Oregon pushed back on Democrats' proposals, stating that the added penalty will ensure our addiction and homelessness crises will continue for years to come. Changes to Measure 110 are set to be formally introduced during the legislative session in February. Lawmakers will have just 35 days to pass the bill once the session begins February 5th. What other kind of changes do they propose? So those arrested for small amounts of drugs will be referred to a peer support specialist. Um, if they show up to the meeting, they would not be charged. But if they don't, the offense could be referred to the DA's office. Okay, thank you, Mike. Thank you.